Hello everyone and welcome to my daily report market analysis videos with me Richard Perry market analyst at Handtech on Monday the 20th of April. There's been a, a very strange mixed open actually um, to a European session today. Um, equities doing not a great deal. Um, we had a strong breakout actually on the S&P 400 on Friday, new multi-week highs again, um, but the futures have just dropped back slightly early morning today, about 0.8% lower. Um, nothing really driving these markets today, I might add. Um, it'll be interesting to see how there is um, a development in assessment of the coronavirus in or COVID-19 in the coming weeks. Obviously, we've had the uh, the markets pricing now, the exit strategies, um, and then what is the question? Um, so uh, yeah, it's just a bit of um, bit of sort of uh, chopping around. Nothing too significant in terms of direction. We had a little bit of dollar strength uh, this morning, early morning, but that's just fallen away again. Uh, Treasury yields have just sort of edged a little bit lower. Nothing too significant on the ten-year yield, but um, it's probably the big story um, is this oil price at the moment. Look at this, Brent. So WTI crude, 23, 22, 23 bucks down. Uh, look at that massive downside break of the 1920 level um, to levels not seen actually since 1999. Now, um, it's sort of a, a bit of a contract issue uh, with regards to the rollover. Um, front month contract is sort of down 20 odd percent. Um, the uh, June contract, uh, front, front month contract is May. June contract is um, only down about 6% at the moment. So this is a little sort of um, disparity between how the uh, oil contracts are moving and oil is in massively deep contango. So, yeah, it's um, it's not really doing uh, a great deal for certainly WTI. Because if you look at uh, Brent crude, it's only slightly lower to sort of 3%. I mean, it's still down, but uh, not the 20 odd percent of the, of the uh, WTI. So be careful with that one. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're looking at a fairly mixed outlook really today um, as uh, the week gets going. Um, no data today really um, to look forward to. A little bit of overnight and early morning data. We had the, um, the Japanese, uh, where is it? Japanese exports, imports, which imports were a bit better than expected or higher than expected and exports weaker than expected. So you've seen a, a reduction in the, in the um, trade surplus, quite a significant reduction. Look at that. Um, and uh, interesting that we've seen the opposite actually for the Eurozone. Uh, current account bro broadening, current account surplus broadening in February, and also the trade balance broadening as well. So, yeah, that's interesting. But um, Japanese yen, a little bit of an underperformer today, um, nothing too dis um, drastic though. Okay, so yeah, no more data other than that. So let's have a look at my chart of the day, which is today the Kiwi dollar. Now, um, there was news from um, news from New Zealand that the infection rate of COVID-19 is down to 0 0.5, um, which is um, less, well, for every person that's uh, infected, they infect another 0 0.5. 0.5 people. So it's a pretty, um, pretty much under control there um, with that regard. So that's uh, a positive and certainly the Kiwi has benefited on the back of that today. And dollar Kiwi is now trading quite significantly higher. But I would add 6070, which is the breakout resistance up to 6130 is a resistance band. And how the market responds to this little technical rally again uh, in the last well, Friday into Monday will be interesting because you can see here falling 21 day moving average has turned up and now become the basis of, of support it was resistance all through January, February, March now turning up is now become the basis of support. So is this now the process of dollar kiwi turning round again because having broken this uptrend you were questioning how the development of the recovery was going um you've still held on i mean the the, the most important support in this whole situation uh, 5840 which is the first key higher low the first reaction low that got broken then you're turning the outlook um, decisively corrective. Now, having picked up off uh, 59.20, that also becomes a key level of um, 
of reference because if the market now starts to turn back around the 60 70 level and then breaks underneath 59 60 then that turns into a new um scenario of lower highs and lower lows and that is the definition of a new trend formation to the downside a new downtrend so this is an important moment how the market responds to this resistance around 60 70 um to 61 30 is going to be important because stochastics just turning up around the 50 mark is encouraging. MACD line still um, had a bit of a pause, but then turned back higher. But RSI sort of hovering 50 to 60 area. So again, you'd need to see RSI sort of breaking out above the 60 mark to really suggest that the the, um, the price is going to be breaking out. So interesting, uh, interesting development this morning in the Kiwi dollar, and certainly one to keep an eye on as the uh, as the market has turned a bit more positive. Can it maintain that run and break out above 61.30? If it does, then you're looking at 61.8% FIB again. 50% um, FIB, 61.10 area. So again, resistance around that point is key. So uh, yeah, important moments for dollar kiwi, I believe. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website where you can sign up for our webinars.